I've been with Deckers for nine years now. Uh, I've worked across a variety of different channels and gravitated towards email marketing and CRM and analytics. So about Deckers, we're a 40-year-old company. We've got seven niche brands that we've built into global leaders. That's what Deckers likes to do. So we've got dozens of websites selling in over 50 countries. And we're spinning up new retail ideas, new, new locations, and trying to bring that digital engagement out there so that we can support customer needs in a new and interesting ways. It's our priority to transform our company into an omni-channel organization. Our mission is to put the needs of the customer first. We really want to put the customer at the center of our strategy so that we can ensure a consistent and powerful experience to, to be able to win those customers over. And retail, it's a hostile space. I mean, people have so many different options, and they're using them. They're really setting the pace here, and they don't have patience for bad, disconnected experiences anymore. We're trying to evolve the way that we think as an organization. We need to change so that data is actually guiding every decision and every action that we're taking with our customers. Irrelevant ads are becoming dangerous for us. Uh, so we can really turn people away by having this old mentality of mass marketing and, and blasting. And we've got to switch so that we're more predictive, so that we're knowing exactly what's going to work for which customers at which point in time. And that's where Audience Stream is coming in for us. We used Audience Stream for tag management, still use it for tag management. So the plumbing was already there. You know, we're already funneling our data through this gateway that's kind of consolidating it. So it was really easy to add on Audience Stream and start building these profiles that we can then use that all that data and distribute it out where we need it to go. Ban and carts. Uh, who doesn't know about this as a strategy? But the fact of the matter is the majority of sites actually still aren't doing it. Of the top 24 apparel and accessory retailers, only five of them were sending abandoned cart emails. Here's a couple of examples of our creative that we're using for UGG and Sanook. And what Telium does is it's aggregating all of this campaign metadata and allowing us to do these real-time abandoned cart emails. Just with abandoned carts, we're seeing about a 1,500% return on that investment with Audience Stream. So it's paying for itself over and over again. One thing that we can be doing is when we are sending these broadcast emails out, we can pump all this data and start doing more dynamic content in there. And beyond that, we should be doing the same thing with our website. All of this data, everything I talked about doing for email, big opportunity that we can solve some problems with. And other channels as well. Anywhere that we're controlling some kind of a touch point with the customer, if we can take those digital signals and those digital identities and actually tie that together, then we should be doing it.